Hell's Angels boss Luke Maloney has been charged over an assault in Reservoir. Three Hell's Angels, including gang boss Luke Maloney, have been charged over an alleged bashing in Reservoir which left a man with serious injuries. Echo Task Force detectives charged the three patched members over an assault at a home. Raids were carried out at a Seaford clubhouse, three homes in Reservoir and properties at Ferntree Gully, Atwood, and St. Kilda. Weapons were seized at each of the addresses raided. The police operation was launched after a man in his 20s was assaulted at a home in McLagan Crescent. Police said he suffered serious upper body injuries but was able to escape the property. Maloney, the 41-year-old president of the Angel City chapter, has been charged with intentionally causing serious injury, recklessly causing serious injury, assault, assault with a weapon, extortion, possessing a Schedule 4 poison, and committing an indictable offense while on bail. The arrest today is the latest in Maloney's run-ins with the law. Last year Maloney was denied bail over firearms charges described by a magistrate as incredibly serious. Police seized a loaded handgun and steroids during a raid at Maloney's Reservoir home in August after he was served with a firearm prohibition order. One of Australia's most powerful bikey bosses has been arrested in Melbourne's north. Hells Angels National President Luke Maloney was taken into custody this morning after police raided his reservoir home. They claim they found a loaded handgun and steroid. He was charged with several offenses including failing to surrender a firearm and possessing an unregistered handgun. Maloney was initially denied bail on the grounds he posed an unacceptable risk even though he offered a $10,000 surety. Detective Inspector Graham Banks, of the ECHO Task Force, said that the police obviously know who Maloney is, he's on their radar. And he understands if he gets arrested again, it will be a very different ballgame. Has a substantial commitment to monitoring the behavior of serious and organized crime groups such as OMCGs and where incidents like this occur, we will act. The Hells Angels is a group well known for significant violent offending, and they will remain a continued focus of Victoria Police and our partner agencies such as the AFP National Anti-Gang Squad for this reason. Yeah.